So I'm talking about July a little bit early this month because I think most people are going to start feeling the effects of that this weekend if you aren't already feeling the effects of that. So here's the thing. June has been relatively spacious despite some of the twists and turns everyone has felt in their life. And even the, the hard twists and turns really resolve themselves relatively quickly. And I think that same theme is going to go on in July. But but the difference between the energy of July and the energy of June is that it is very intense, it is very passionate, and it is very surprising. And let me say a little bit more about that. I think that, and this is my theory actually, as we start the year in January going, you know, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to make this happen, I'm going to make that happen, and then we have all these creative ideas we're putting into our collective field. And some of those things could actually manifest that we'd have forgotten about. And that's that's a feature of July. And what another feature is that it's really passionate, intense energy, emotional. And so there's this whole feeling of wanting to connect, wanting to express, wanting to uh, be around others. And so there's a lot about Romance, I, I can't imagine a better romantic month than July. I just, I don't know that it exists. We'll find out as the year goes on, of course, but there's so much passion and intensity. I think we're going to see a lot of reconciliations and a lot of breakups. And those people who have been sitting on the fence trying to decide if they want to get into a relationship, I'll, we'll see that as well. And the interesting piece about new relationships I think they're just going to, it's that time that time when organic connections can really happen. You don't necessarily have to go on. You're going to be out and about. It's summer, for goodness sakes, in the U.S. So it's just an amazing time for that. If you're not in the relationship marketplace, even career networking, there's a lot about getting up to the next step, making the right connections with the people who can help you. It's really remarkable in that way. And there's there's really a lot of desire in, in the collective to kind of make things happen. And, and there's motivation. Uh, and so you partner all this together and it, it, it could be a very intense month. You know, one day you could be sobbing in your pillow and the next day you're dancing for joy. I mean, it's, it's really, it's very potent. It's a very potent month. Uh, now, to start the month off and that this weekend in the soul circle, of course, I'm doing this lovely inner journey process I learned through the Empowered Healer Method, and I can't say enough good things about it. And so I wanted to teach it to you guys. I just think it's an incredible way to access the own wisdom of our body. And our bodies, it's, it's remarkable what our bodies do for us. And we didn't teach our body. It came move in ready, right? So uh, being able to learn how to interact with our body in a very deep, interesting way can really add some incredible dimension to our healing process, whether that's mental, emotional, physical. All right. I hope you find this helpful and I can't wait to hear anything you have to say about all this. All right. Take care.